This is an autonomous bus driven by computer on trial on a 12 minute loop around the Olympic Park. Travelling at two miles an hour, there is a staff member on board. We found two students to join us. I think they're fantastic. I mean, you can see now we're moving incredibly smoothly at a d decent pace. It's very safe and uh, the technology's there, it's brilliant. You think computers are better drivers generally than, than human beings? Uh, from this five, ten minute trip, then yeah, probably actually, yeah. <laughs> London is seeing a number of trials of driverless vehicles. This is the one in Greenwich. And the government is trying to make it easier to attract investment in autonomous vehicles. It's all part of a revolution. I think it's going to change the lives of people across the, across the world. We're going to see vehicles that can provide better transport options for people with disabilities, uh, provide better public transport links at odd times of the day when uh, uh, a vehicle like this can fill in a link that wouldn't otherwise be there. So I think we're on the brink and he's starting a transport revolution. So how safe is this technology? It uses cameras and lasers to scan the road. But what if someone walks in front of it? As you can see, it stops. Some think autonomous vehicles will reduce insurance and congestion. Others fear it will mean fewer jobs for drivers. These have already been tested in other cities. Is it safe? Yes, of course it is. Um, you know, it needs to be developed over time, and that's why trials like this are really important. And we'll be trialling this alongside pedestrians in quite a busy environment. We've had other smaller scale trials, and we're using all that data to constantly improve. These are still early days in this emerging industry. This bus, which is free to catch, will be running until the end of the month. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.